my name is Maya, I'm a zookeeper at the Freshman Chappie Zoo, and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about sloths. So a lot of people notice how clean our sloths at the zoo are. We don't do anything to clean them, that is their natural state, but in the wild they would be covered in all sorts of algae and even living things like moths. So sloths have a symbiotic relationship with their environment where they will have moths living inside of their fur. It will help contribute to the health of their fur. They will help contribute to algae that is growing in their fur, and that will help the sloths to camouflage. The sloths are also very important to the moth's life cycle because they actually reproduce through sloth feces. A lot of people want to know how long sloths live. In their natural habitat, the average lifespan for a sloth is about 20 to 30 years, which is pretty long. Here in human care, they might live a little bit longer because they are not susceptible to predation, their food is provided for them, and if they have any age-related health care that comes up, we take care of that for them. Oliver lives here in Tropical Treasures, along with um, another Anais' two-toed sloth, Esmeralda. We also have a golden lion tamarind, um, some Delby's monkeys, some ducks, some reptiles, birds, and other species that would also be found in similar environments. So this is a climate controlled area, meaning we're able to make sure that the humidity and the temperature remain the same throughout the year. And that's really important for Oliver and all of the other animals that live in here because they are found in tropical environments in their natural habitat. And Fresno, while it's very warm, is also pretty dry. So the humidity in here is much higher than outside, and that allows his skin and his fur to remain in really good condition and doesn't give him that itchy, dry skin that a lot of us experience in the winter. So we talked a little bit about how sloths sleep all the time. This is actually a perfect example of how occasionally Oliver will fall asleep in the middle of a training session. That's totally up to him. He is welcome to wake up at his own pace and engage with us again whenever he is ready.